Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode here on Southview's Pig Farm. Just admiring the chickens, they seem quite happy. So in the last episode we finished off um, getting corn sown on this field here. Uh, we still got a, a deep ripper, uh, combined fertilizer, subsoil and, and, and cultivator uh, going here and he's just thinks that he's finished. He hasn't actually uh, just reached the, the end of the field here. So um, we'll drop in and um, well, actually since we're down this end and since we're down to about a quarter of, of fertilizer I think we can just get a little bit more uh, loaded in to, to it while we're down here. So I'm gonna hop the fence here and uh, get our fent on the move. Uh, we've got seeds on the hook right now so we'll just drop that off on the trailer again. Uh, next to the other bag of seeds we've got plenty of seeds it seems but we've been working our way through fertilizer fairly quickly on the other hand so um, that should be okay though. Uh, I'll drop that off here. Oh! <laughs> I dropped the whole thing. That's wrong. There we go. Uh, that'll do a bit better. Think. Like that. Good. So we need to pick up. We have a fertilizer bag sitting in the shed uh, next to the combine. It's a little bit of a tight squeeze, but I think we can actually make it in without having to move everything again. Uh, we moved the uh, combine over a bit, so there's plenty of space now. So that's brilliant. Um, obviously, fertilizer is a bit heavier than seeds, but uh, we don't have a long way to go. And don't need to lift it super high until we actually need to get it tipped in to the subsoil there. So yeah, uh, once we've done this, uh, we've got two other jobs to get done this episode. We need to get some herbicide um, sprayed onto um, the cornfield. Oh, it feels like we're tipping here on the field almost. Let's see if I can just get it in. There we go. Um, obviously we need to ideally finish plowing this. There's a little bit left over on one side here, uh, we'll catch up on that. And then we got to start uh, putting canola in, because that will basically mean that we'll have some corn at some point, and we'll have uh, some canola, and that will really start um, taking off all of the uh, pigs' feed requirements. Um, because right now we are just feeding them grain, which isn't ideal, um, so we'll, um, we'll be able to get that done, although we do have plant growth on, on slow, so it is going to take a little while before we uh, we can uh, get everything sorted out. So, just get the fence going again here, and then um, there's one other thing we need to do, and that is to um, to get something to be able to wash our machinery. As you can see, things are getting pretty mucky by now. Let's see. Is that going? I think it is. Oh, I got the fertilizer going on it. So there we go. That's better. I want to make sure we put fertilizer into the ground as we're doing this. So for now, I'm just going to set a worker going on this. Here we go. Get out of the way. Yeah. Things are starting to need a wash a lot. So we're going to invest in a pressure washer right away. I just got to figure out exactly where to put it here on the farm. Um, now we've got, there's a workshop here. Uh, we've kind of got uh, animal feed areas with lots of mess around, right around here. So I don't, don't think this is an ideal spot. I was thinking actually, um, over here, just um, on the corner or right at the end here maybe. Actually, we've got our John Deere parked here already, so maybe actually this could be a pretty good spot. So um, let's go and get ourselves a power washer. Rotate it a bit. Like so. There, looks good. Excellent. We have a pressure washer. We might as well uh, give it a shot. Because uh, this thing's already needing better for washing. we got to figure out where to, to put this as well because we're gonna 
some fill up the sheds. One alternative is, is to put another little shed in over in this corner here. Let's see if that's feasible. That will do for the washing. So, for the time being, um, we are going to have to try and maneuver this into the enclosed shed where we also keep the tractors and the baler. That should be doable. I might start getting a little bit tight, but um, yeah. Oh, I've got a tractor in the way here. Get the fender out of the way first of all. Is that beautiful? Nah, it's gonna fall a jump up here, isn't it? But we could put seed bags and stuff in here if we need to. Uh, right under here. Oh, that would probably not be a bad place for our seed bags and things. Anyway, let's see if we can get this into the shed now. I'll just pop into first person view here so you can see we've got a baler sitting here that needs to come out and get a wash. It looks terrible. We did a, a lot of hard work though. Let's see if we can just push it right up against the wall there. Okay, okay. And then if we just put the fertilizer tank in uh, sort of in front of it. If I can get a new bit of enough here. Like this. Down. and put it there. Yeah, it's not too bad. And then better try and get this baler taken out and give me a wash as well. Um, which wasn't really what we were looking at doing today, but um, now I think I would use this smaller fence to, to put it in with, so just had to squeeze around the corner there. But anyway, We'll get it washed, then we can squeeze it down closer to where this cedar is, so there's still space to put our tractors in overnight as well. Good, good, good. Time for a wash. Ah, it's a New Holland, you can tell again. <laughs> into the shed with you. It's the joy of uh, tight yards like this. Obviously, if we had started on, on the big manor farm with more arable farming, we would have had humongous amounts of space. But um, up here on the big farm, things are a little bit more compressed, I guess. So let's see if we can sort of turn it in like this. Pretty decent. Excellent. Next job. He's got the pressure washing now, so that's good. Don't run over the chickens. Uh, we are going to put some herbicide on to our cornfield out here. And that should be enough uh, preventative effect to, um, to keep it going through the whole crop cycle. At least I hope it is. That's what I've been led to believe by uh, various other streamers and stuff that I've been watching. So, just gotta make sure we don't hit the shed there. Ooh, that was close. 4,000 liters should be enough, I reckon, for this relatively small field. So it's gonna be a bit interesting with these power lines. So I'm gonna try and see if I can sort of steer up right towards them uh, on this first pass here
not exactly the most elegant um, <laughs> coverage of this field. Managed to hit the pole, but just with the very tip. So I think everything is still intact. Uh, the only thing that might be slightly bruised would be my pride in the way that this field got covered. Um, I think there was just a tiny bit left down at the other pole here. Might as well try and see if we can get that covered as well, but if I try and actually skirt around this time instead of hitting it. Oh no! Well, my aim seems to be terribly off on this one. I do find this spray a little bit funny to work with as well because you, you got that sort of extra turning component, it's not a rigid axle. Um, so it's, it's almost like when you're trying to do dolly trailers, which I also struggle with to be honest. Right, that's a lot of herbicide we're spilling for this little corner, but there we go. It is done, thankfully. Let's get the arms folded up here. And then we're going to have a look because the work has stopped again on our plowing or subsoiling over on the other field. So we um, might have to go and do a little bit of that ourselves. Uh, we seem to be getting to that point where the angles on the field are a little bit awkward even for the uh, improved help of 19. First we'll just pop the sprayer back in here. here because didn't actually make it that far before kind of stopping the work again. I would have thought this angle wasn't too bad but it's probably just because it's right in the corner here of the field I reckon. Let's see we are now pulling straight again. Okay, I think this should actually be enough. Uh, we'll set the worker going and, and see if it works out. In the meantime, I'm hopping back into the old vent because um, we need to pick up some of the seed over there and uh, we'll hook the, the seed onto the, to the John Deere as well. Get that loaded up and um, we can start doing some of field that has already been ploughed and fertilized through there. So I think this field only needs one more fertilizer round on it and uh, that should be the same for this big field because we're putting fertilizer in along with the um, along with the ploughing. So that helps quite a lot. It saves a few passes on the field, and especially when the fields are this big, it's it's a it's a big benefit. But um, let's get, hop into the John Deere here, and our cedar is parked right over here. Could have probably squeezed another piece of machinery next to it here, but um, get it hooked up for now. And get it. So we also need to put fertilizer into this one. So that actually means by the time we put the seed in the ground, the field should be fully fertilized. We'll open it up first and uh, we'll focus on getting seeds in first of all. Hopefully we can reach from the back here with the fender. Nope, we can't reach. We'll try and fold it back up again, 
it's not going to be the most elegant trying to uh, take it in over there, but I think that's going to be better. Obviously, it would be nice if we had a telehandler um, with an extendable arm or something like that that would allow us to do this better. But for the time being, at least, uh, we're just going to have to try and reach up and over instead. What can we do? Is it possible to um, simply... There we go. Okay. So it's a little bit of a cheat, but um, if you hold the seat bag up in the region, you can... Oops! <laughs> well, now everything's going on. Yeah, so if, if you hold the seat bag close enough, um, you can simply fill it from, from inside uh, using the seat as normal sort of fill function when it's close to a trigger point. So that's quite handy to know. Um, and we don't have to try and knock things over or anything like that. So get the second seat back here. Might as well get it filled up because we're going to be using this cedar on the other large field as well to put in some wheat or some barley. We really do need a weight for this tractor though. I wonder if this is close enough. Yes it is. Excellent. So I think um, I'll pop over the road to the dealership and pick up another bag of fertilizer. I know we've got a little bit left, uh, it's an inch here, but um, we need to wait for the back of this anyway. Um, we previously had some issues when we were trying to use the um, bale shredder as well, that the tractor almost tipped. So we're going to pick up another bag of fertilizer and we're going to put a weight on the back of the fent here. It doesn't need to be a particularly huge one, but uh, some weight is required. Okie dokie, so we've got a weight, pretty decent size. The rear pin on it there as well. So we'll put that on first and then we will lift the fertilizer bag and see. I think this should give us a lot more stability to be honest. So that's also a thousand kilos we're putting on the back there, so that's a decent enough amount to help when we're doing the bales as well. Yeah, so when we do a high lift now, we're no longer kind of feeling... I mean, there's still weight there for sure, but um, it doesn't feel like we're about to tip forward uh, at any minute, so, so that's good. And um, this fertilizer can go, or at least part of it, can go straight into the cedar. Um, I think we have enough seed in it for now. It's not full, but um, there's quite a bit there. Oh, I can't see a thing here. Alright, here we go. So I hope we can use the same trick with the um, fertilizer bags of just sort of being on the side of the seed and then using the, the fill function for the seed itself. But at least now we can lift it up like this. So let's pop in here. Yes, that works as well. Excellent. Good stuff. Let's move the um, fender out of the way here. This fender has come in really handy. It was really mainly intended just for sort of doing the animal work, but um, we've actually been using it a lot. It's been running the bale and everything, um, so that's good. Let's go park it back over here again. Then we can uh, use our John Deere here to um, start putting down some seeds, even though the field isn't 100% uh, finished. Uh, we, can, we can start laying down a few, a few seeded tracks here, although it probably does mean we're going to start catching up with the uh, plowing fairly quickly. Yeah, um, that's it. Another field on the go. It's starting to feel like we're getting productive here on the farm. 
here is also critical that we do get this done. So we've got some uh, some crops to feed to these very hungry pigs and hopefully expand the number of pigs that we're using as well. But um, with two machines working in the field at the same time, this is a good time to say thank you very much for this time. Another view of um, the Southview's farm here and um, we have some growing to do, a little bit of spraying to do and one more field to get ready in, in the coming episodes. So thank you very much for watching. Please do hit that like or subscribe button if you enjoy these um, episodes. And see you again soon. Thank you from Overcourt Gaming.